In this video, I'm going to go over how to begin working on project one. So I'm going to go ahead and go into unit one here. And then in the create folder. So everything to do with information in regard to the project will always be in the create folder. And I'm going to move down here. So we're working on part A. And here is the zip uh, folder. So that I'm going to download that. Let me know if you have any trouble with unzipping that zip folder. So here is the folder um, zipped. Actually, I had done one earlier. So I'm going to double click on it. Okay, here it is unzipped. I'm going to open that up. And then you can see these are all of the files all of the pieces of artwork that we are going to draw over. Um, so I think what we're going to do here is open up Illustrator. So all of the drawing of the artwork will be done in Illustrator and then the layout itself will be done in InDesign. So this means that you will place um, one by one your drawings that you create in Illustrator. You'll place them into InDesign. All right, so I'm going to do letter size document for now. All right, zoom in on this a little bit. And then what I'm going to do, so you could either do a file place or just drag the file onto the artboard. I'm going to take the Allen wrench, bring it on. I do not want to size this. I don't want to stretch it. You just want to leave it alone. And then go into layers. and double click on the thumbnail um, square and I'm going to turn layer one into a template layer so what that does is and I click OK it will lock the placed element and it will also gray that image so it'll be easier to draw over so you don't you don't want to scale your artwork I'm just zooming in on the window that's all I'm doing then I need to create a new layer and I'll work on layer two okay so uh, we're gonna use the pen tool and when you're able you could use a basic shape so meaning the rectangle ellipse any of those if, it, if it'll work for you when you're redrawing so I probably I think I'll use the uh, pen tool here and for me, I just I, I like to zoom in. And this will be a black stroke, um, no fill. And I'm going to do a, a 0.5 stroke. All right. So I'm going to click, plot a point, probably stop here. I'm going to hold down my shift key just to ensure that this line I'm making is straight. And then I'm, I'm going to pull a handle out because this is a round corner and then I'm going to click and pull because I, I just want to make sure that I have that round corner available and what I tend to do with the pen tool is I'll I'll go all the way around my object close the object then I go back and tweak it you know to make things straight and rounded the way I want it to be um, I, I do take advantage of my shift key it will allow me to make a straight line. So at least the points will be straight. Pull out the handle, go around the corner. You would never want to place, and I'm going to clean this up in a minute. You would never want to place a, an anchor point in the middle of a curve. And then you always want the minimum amount of anchor points. Uh, it'll make things better overall. Again, I'm going to clean this up when I get the, when I complete this. All right, so I just closed the shape. So I use the anchor point tool to clean up. And when you click on a anchor point I 
That's weird. Oops. There we go. The only problem with, I don't think I can move. No, I cannot move an anchor point with that tool. I'm trying to get these two anchor points. Sometimes you can hold down the option key and then All right. So it's all about how you manipulate the handles. Actually, that looks pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, um, only one piece of art per document. It'll be easier when you work in uh, InDesign. So I'm just going to move this up here and change my um, artboard. I'm going to snug it up a little bit just to kind of clean things up a little. So I, I use the page tool in the toolbar. There we go. All right. And then this, that, that's my template. I don't need that any longer. So I'm going to go into layers, unlock the layer, which had the template, and I'm going to get rid of it. Because when I, when I bring my artwork into InDesign, I don't want that template to be included with my artwork. And then I, you know, I'm just going to name these pieces of art well, it's it's already named on the um, on the file that I give you. It's just an L, and I think it's an A, or is it an E? I should know. I don't know. Anyways, um, so I'm going to save that. I probably would suggest making um, a folder on the desktop, and then I'm going to call it. Um, Project one, part A. Here we go. So that'll be on the desktop. I think it is an A. All right, so I'm going to save that file as an AI. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's an E. Oh, well. So it's an Allen wrench. I have a typo. All right, so that would be the procedure for um, creating, taking my file, making a template layer, drawing over it. In the next video, I will do the step and repeat that you'll need for when you um, do the screws for the threads. So I will make that now.